Okay, so me and Nay's been friends for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And we did everything together. She was like this. Yeah. If wherever you see her, you see me and vice versa. She was there when my son was born. She's his godmom. And in April of last year, I accused her of sleeping with my now husband. Mm. Okay. And why did you accuse her of sleeping with your um, fiance at the time, now husband? I accused him because, okay, my fiance is a barber, so he cuts her son's hair. Okay. So... They would text each other. They had each other's numbers. But Nene would come to things that we had, like gatherings at the house, and she would be too touchy-feely with him. Like, mm. she would come in, like, hey, best friend, and then when she hugs him, it's like they're hugging a little too long for my mm. liking. So on New Year's last year, we were playing spades. Me, Nene was partners. My cousin Keisha and another friend were partners. So my husband walks past, and we, as he's walking, she's following him until he got out of view. Like, oh. what the f is you looking at, you know? Yeah. So I think she was drunk, but she didn't notice me looking. But my other friend kicked me under the table, like, did you, you know, see her look at him? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. So he was, he got in the shower one night, and that phone was sitting right there. I got that code. I opened the phone, checked the messages, even looked in the deleted messages. I didn't see nothing. But before I did that, I accused him of cheating, sleeping with Nene, and I called her. And I was like, I think you messing with my husband. Mm. They both denied it. But me and him have infidelity in the past. He cheated oh. at the beginning of our, of, of our relationship. Oh, and how, and how long y'all been together? Three years. Three years, so in the beginning he cheated. Yeah. It could be because he cheated in the past, but it's like it's too many things. First, the long hooks, the looking at him, and then like he could tell a joke and she laughing so much and he ain't even that funny. <laughs> it's like she go out her way just to laugh and everybody else looking like, so it's like, I feel like something going on and I want to get to the... You funny for that. To the bottom of it. How did she react when you confronted her? Because you just come out the blue talking about, hey, you sleep with my husband and y'all are friends of 20 years. I mean, there had to be more than just like, okay, girl. So I, um, I called her over the phone and uh -huh. I told her I think she cheated and she said, no, I can't believe you accused me of something like that. We've been friends for so long. And then I was like, you know, okay, I'm sorry, whatever. So I, when I looked at his phone and I didn't see nothing, I text her, I'm sorry for accusing you of sleeping with him. She didn't respond back. And she's like a person, we always have our phone. We text back, back to back, back yeah, to back. Yeah. So two hours passed, I called her, like, hey, did you get my message? I'm sorry for accusing you. And she said, yeah, I got it, it's cool. And that was it. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, she's still, you know, mad. And I do kind of feel bad because I didn't find anything. But I just feel like something going on and I need got you it. to get to the, to the bottom of it. Uh, has she ever done something like this before? No, but she don't got a man. It's like she can't keep a man. So I'm like, do you want my man? I don't know. Mm. What was going on? What were you about to say about the wedding? So she, we got married in June. She was going to be my maid of honor. Mm -hmm. She RSVP for the wedding and everything. But me oh, and my husband, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Me and my husband decided to save money, so we ended up going to the courthouse uh -huh. instead. She never showed up to my wedding. She didn't show up. No, and that hurt me badly because even I apologize to you. I still expected you to be at my wedding. And for how you long not ago to come, was this? I mean, how long after you apologized was your wedding? I apologized in April and I got married in June. Oh, so it was pretty soon. Yeah. Okay. And had y'all been talking in between that time at all? No. No. Okay then. But you still thought she was going to show up. Yeah, because that was a big milestone in my life. So I expected her to be there. Yeah. So I asked her after the wedding, um, I texted her like, hey, I didn't see you at the wedding. What happened? And she told me she couldn't get off of work. And I know that's a lot. She got plenty of PTO. Because mm -hmm. how she come here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Her birthday was in July. We was going to um, to Chicago to Top Golf, and she invited me. I said I was going, but I was driving myself. I'd meet y'all there. So the time came, and I didn't go. I was at home with my feet kicked up watching Lifetime. I stood her up like she stood me up for my wedding. Oh, so, so I didn't you go. was being petty. Yeah, I was being real petty. Mm. What do you miss about your relationship with her? I miss everything. Like, she was my, my best friend. Like, she was more close to me than my own sister. She got my deepest, darkest secrets, and I got hers as well. I miss, hey, bitch, like, let's go hang out. You know what I'm saying? Let's go get something to eat, sending funny memes. You know what I'm saying? Like, we would text all day while we were at work. I miss everything. I don't have that no more. And it's kind of hurting my feelings. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. You told me I locked the phone investigator that you wanted to know if Nay was inappropriately communicating with your husband, if Nay was at work on your wedding day. And those are the two main things for you that you want to know. Yes. Okay, well, listen, everyone, I think it's time to hear from your best friend. Um, welcome, Nate, to the show. Hey, 
Hey, how are you doing? Thank you for being how are here. You? Okay. Uh, so, how do you feel about what was just said? <laughs> Where do I start? Really, Tasha? Like 20 years? I've never, ever, first of all, we don't even like the same kind of men. Uh -huh. Let's start there. Okay, yeah. You know, me and Ken, I met Ken before she even knew Ken. Ken mm -hmm. would cut my son hair. Okay. So we had each other's number. We would text, or if I needed an appointment, I would call him. So once they got together, nothing changed. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I had to go through her when I already knew him. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, what other... What was the reason? What about um, for New Year's last year when he walked past? We was playing spades. You probably was too drunk. But when he walked in the room and he walked past you, following him until he disappeared. Girl, what was that good about? Night. What good, was that night. About? good night. Good what night. Good about? night. Looking at Ken, what is there to look at? Oh, so what you trying to say? Girl. <laughs> See, you just laughing. So That's what's... all I can do is laugh, Tasha, because you're a clown. You're, you're acting like a clown because you know me better than that. We've been knowing each other since I was 13 years why you, old. Why you didn't come to my and... wedding? I wasn't coming. After you accused me, why would I come? Why would I come to a wedding that you accused me of messing with your son? But why would you tell me you coming? Did you lie and say you couldn't get to I her did. wedding? I did. I was being petty. Okay, Absolutely. Okay, so you being petty. Okay, then. Absolutely. Okay, then. So you're saying that you could have went to her I wedding. I could have went. But you didn't want to. I didn't know. Mm. Why would I go? You had just called me a few months prior to that. Well, I accused, apologize. That apology was a half-ass apology. Yeah. What did you just want like me to you do? Just come said it? and get on my knees? No, 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 no. The same energy you gave me when you accused me is the same energy you should have came with for an apology. Don't come half-ass. No, I'm not going for that. I'm okay, not. Just like you thought I was going with you for your birthday. That's fine, Tasha. Girl. But you letting your own insecurities get to you. Like we been, we you know me better than that. So, but I'm confused. If she had never done this before in your life. Never. If she had never given you any reason. She's not that type of person. These are your own words. Why would you think it? Why, why do you think she'd want to throw away 20 years of a friendship for Please to explain. like do this? I don't know. Like I said, it could be from him cheating in the past. But I don't know. They and was I was just there too, for you when he cheated. They was just too for me. They was just. I helped you investigate. So <laughs> and now, I'm, I'm and trying now I need to him to investigate you and look through your Please phone. Do. Thank you. Please do. Please. Because you're not going to find anything. Okay. Nothing at all. I even stopped taking my son to go get his hair cut from him just to make her feel comfortable, but you didn't tell them that, did you? Oh. Did you tell them that? Oh. Come on now. Don't come up here half assing it and just making yourself look like the f victim because that's not what it is. Tell the truth. Well, maybe if you tell had a man, I wouldn't feel like how I feel. It don't matter and about then... what I got going on. But if she's taking steps as your friend to stop, she hears your discomfort and she's saying, you know what, I'm not even going to bring my son here. Why aren't you looking at these steps that she's taking? Because I just don't trust them. Victim and then like... she go through my cousin Keisha to deliver messages. We both, like, she's like the middle man between both of us. She t call Keisha and tell her stuff about me, and I call when I don't want to talk to her. Okay, and your cousin Keisha is here today with us, right? Yes. Okay, then. <laughs> Keisha, I want to know, how do you feel being in the middle of this? How, what, do you, what is your thoughts on this situation? They too grown uh -huh. to be acting so young. Y'all been friends 20 years since y'all was little tiny tight, 13, you know what I'm saying, popping all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, they both should be held accountable for their actions because yeah. it takes two. You tell me what you doing, you tell me what you're doing and what I tell y'all. Tell each other, get me out of it. Got it. <laughs> Tisha, how has the fighting affected your relationship with both of them? I still, it's just separate. But we're used to being a trio. We can't yeah. trio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I got to FaceTime separate instead of us being on the three call. We got to be... I'm tired of telling my life separately. I want to tell y'all together. You just want to tell it one time. Yeah, like, one I don't time. Got time I'm for tired this. of talking twice. I'm going to ask you, did you witness Nate um, flirting with Tasha's husband? I wouldn't say it was flirting. Because... Okay. Thank you. We, like she said, we don't like the same type of men. We, we, we None don't. of us. Like, we ain't never, ever had an incident where, oh, I think you messing with my dude. Like, none of that, none you of know? It. Yeah. Um, ain't never seen no sideline kick kick in or no extra embraces. None of that. But, like she said, it could have just been because of the past infidelity to where anybody, when you being che cheated on, anybody can get it because anybody cheating with your man. Mm. So, so you think it, it you think it's um, Tasha's insecurities that's bringing this on? Yes. I did not see any extra look. Well, hold on. We just all. got a ping right now. Um, I produced some. We have a voicemail from your husband, um, Kenneth. Um, I want to see what he has to say. For this one. I just wanted to say, since my wife accused me of sleeping with Nene, 
things haven't been the same. We've been very distant and we barely talk. I'm hoping when the truth comes out that she'll apologize to Nate. So he's confirming that he's saying he did nothing. They both saying it, but that don't mean I believe him. So why isn't your husband here so we can unlock his phone? <laughs> he couldn't get off the work. But if but your husband just said that your relationship has been the same since the accusations start. Do you agree with him? Yeah, because I've been look, be looking upside his head because I think that he, him and her got something going on. But this is my thing. Why marry somebody? If this happened before y'all even went on and got married, why would you still marry him you, if you, you have these got, you, insecurities? You, 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 just, uh, you just have to ask the question I was going to ask. <laughs> That's a good question because got I it. love him. Okay. We done all been cheated on before. How, okay, well, you said that he cheated Love on you three... Love nothing to do with nothing, baby. You said he cheated on you three years. Um, when you started your relationship three years ago, in the beginning, he cheated. How did he cheat in the beginning? It was with a client. Mm -hmm. uh, he was cutting, you know, someone's son's hair, and I went through his phone, and I actually saw proof. And he took her out on a date and did... That's a whole nother story. It's, it's yeah. God. Mm. Okay, well, that's the... The mm. button I needed. So mm. let's go ahead, and I think it's time to unlock the phone. <laughs> I want to remind um, everyone, Tasha, you told my Unlock the Phone investigators that you want to know two things. If Nay has inappropriately communicated with your husband and if, if Nay was at work on your wedding day. We know one of those already. She said she was not. <laughs> so um, unfortunately, we don't have any results because Nay refused to unlock her phone. Oh, my dear. But I do want everyone to take a look at this. My producer said they have something on security footage that they captured that they want me to see. Okay. We'd have the phones like an hour, an hour and a half. Oh. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what's going to come through my phone in that hour, an hour and a half that y'all lie on my phone. I'm sorry. What's up, guy? I really miss my friend. And then hurt so bad because I know I didn't do anything wrong. How does it make you feel that she went away through your phone? It hurt more because it's like you really don't trust me. Okay. So I understand why my producers wanted me to see what happened. You're torn up over this. So first let's address. You didn't want to open your phone. Why? I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. Yeah. You accuse me. You know me. Tasha, we've been friends for 20-something years. And like, we ain't been through the mud together. And I apologize. Like, that's but it's like when I, I never, I would never, never, you know how much I love you, how much I ride for you. Like, I've always had your back. You always had mine. You have missed so many milestones within this year. What has she missed? Like, I've lost three of my grandparents back to back last year. Did and she wasn't that? there. Did you know that? I've been going through stuff, just life stuff, and you are usually my shoulder to lean on. I shouldn't have to go through Keisha to, to vent when I should be able to come straight to you and talk. But I apologize. What more do you want Tasha, me to do? Tasha, that was a half ass apology. Why do you think I brought you here to that... try to mend our relationship? But the thing is, is that if I can be really real with you, you didn't bring her here to bring to mend the relationship. You wanted you... to see if it, it was true or not. Yeah. You're still thinking about it. And that's the truth. You are. If I could tell you something, and I have a pretty good discernment on these things, when I just heard you say, you came out here and you told me that the reason you thought she was cheating was because she brought her son to his barbershop and you thought they were too close. And then when I just asked you right before I unlock, was supposed to unlock the phone, I asked you, how did your husband cheat? And you say, well, he's with a client that he got with. You went to the phone. And so I don't think you've ever healed from that because your husband is still in the same position that he's in when he cheated on you. <sighs> And so you projected those feelings of insecurity that you have on your, part, on your partner onto her. And it's not fair. It's not fair. Well, I, I'm going to apologize publicly. I'm really sorry from the bottom of my heart. And I just want my man back. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that's all she needed this entire time. But I think that this is, this is an eye-opening that you got to have some deeper conversations with your husband. There has to be a boundary you set with him to start to help you to heal. Okay. All right? Thank you. And uh, luckily you have 
a best friend here who I know is going to stand by your side while you're fixing that. Listen, I wish you the best of luck, Thank all right? You. Seriously, I'm glad y'all can Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, friends, stay with us. We'll be right back with more.